so much for being here uh, this morning and uh, such a sad occasion, but definitely we want to make sure that we address everything accordingly. Uh, thank you so much for um, the pastors being here that are here to support us, our bridge organization and different ones from the community who are standing here to support us. And also, we also thank the uh, grandmother of the young man that was uh, involved in the shooting on last night. She is here on today along with some close friends and family. So we thank them for being here. In the last uh, three to four months or so, we've had gun violence, we've had fights, and we've had disorderly conduct happen right here in Waynesboro. And so even when it started back up, and it, of course it died on for a while, and it comes back up, or you don't hear about it, or you don't know about it, but these things are look like they're coming back up, and we're seeing more of them. And so we wanted to definitely address and let the citizens and the people of Waynesboro County know that this is something that we would not tolerate at all. There is zero tolerance for fighting. There is zero tolerance for gun violence. There is zero tolerance for disorderly conduct. We would not tolerate it here in the city of Waynesboro. We have a great uh, police department, a great sheriff's department that we will not tolerate it. And we want you to understand that if there is gun violence and you are involved in any kind of way, you will be punished up to the significance of the law. Whatever it is, you will be punished. They will get you. They will get you and you will be locked up and whatever it is, it will take place. We want you to understand, do not throw your life away because of a mere moment where you get an attitude or you want to fight or whatever the case is. It's something that we would not tolerate and we would not have. On last evening, the young man was shot right over in Broadwood Apartments. Such a sad case. He's still in the hospital right now. And he's fighting. This is something that we should not have to deal with. A parent should not have to worry about whether their son or their daughter will come home or whether they will make it. They should not have to be sent up in the hospital. Last night, I didn't leave the hospital until 5 30 this morning, sitting with the family. And they sitting there waiting while this young man was in surgery. A couple of weeks ago, a young man was killed in Burke County, down in Sardis. These are things that should not happen. But we understand that they will. But we want you to understand that if you do these things, you will pay the price for it. We, un we understand that we love Waynesboro. And we do everything that we can to support them and see it grow. But gun violence, we would not tolerate. Gun violence, we would not have it here. Of course, we know it's going to take time, but we'll do all that we can to do. The city council, the mayor, my myself, we are going to make sure that we pass laws and the things that we need to do so that way we give the police department and the sheriff and whatever they need so that way they can enforce these laws and they can make sure that we get these people off the street. Another point I wanted to make sure that I bring out and I want you to understand is that we also have, I want to remind you about the curfew law that we have in place. We do have a curfew ordinance and we want you to make sure that you adhere to that ordinance. Now we also have a clause in here that the parents, you are held accountable for your teenagers, your young adults, your little ones. And that is section 74, that's 13, failure to supervise a minor parental responsibility. We want you to understand that. But then also we will be making sure that you remember about the juvenile evening curfew. If you're under the age of 18, that is Sunday through Thursday, 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. And then Friday and Saturday, it is 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. Now there are clauses where, of course, if you're working, the young person is going to work, coming from work, or they're in a church function, or they have errands with their parents, then of course, there is an exemption with that. But I want you to understand, there is a curfew, and we want to make sure that we adhere to these curfews. We want to make sure that everyone is safe because nobody should have to worry about when their child leaves, if their child will come home. So please understand, gun violence, fighting, here in, we're, we're not going to tolerate it. We will not tolerate here this in the city of Waynesboro, and we will make sure that we punish you. We don't want to mess up anybody's record. We don't want anybody to do jail time, but if you do not take responsibility of your own actions, then we'll have to do it for you, and we'll do that accordingly. At this time, I want to give uh, Chief uh, James Burley the opportunity to speak, and then we'll also give the sheriff opportunity to speak. 
on behalf of what the mayor says, as chief, on behalf of what the mayor said, chief of Waynesburg Police Department, like you said, we are here to enforce the law. Mind you, we don't make the law. When the bill is passed, the community passed the law. Law enforcement officials, we enforce the law. And as citizens, it is your job and our job to respect and abide by the law. So, like you said, all this violence, shooting, fighting, anything that's, that's criminal, that's breaking the law, the Waynesburg Police Department will not repeat. We will not tolerate. It is unacceptable, and will not be tolerated in Waynesburg. What we do, we're here to um, commit to be here for the community, to, to form the community to come together. And as parents, like you said, you got a child, 16 and under, that's your responsibility to monitor, to know where this child is at, to know what this child is doing. So we will be acting a strong force to make sure things are running smoothly, because violence, anytime you carry a gun and put in a gun, that is not solving the problem. But we, we, have, we have solutions for that. And that's strongly to enforce these laws, which we will be doing from the White Hill Police Department. Good afternoon, everybody. We stand with uh, Chief Burley, City of Waynesboro, the mayor, and city council, and uh, as sheriff, I, uh, we've experienced some of this this, this violence in, in the county and, and other cities within the county. We are very serious about it. We have formed these partnerships to help reduce violent crime, and uh, we're working on some gang initiatives. Uh, to help uh, mitigate some of these problems that we're seeing with uh, uh, gun violence. Uh, we are uh, saddened uh, every time something like this happens. It's, it's, it's just, uh, it's senseless. Uh, we have got to get parents to step up and take responsibility to understand that this is not just a bunch of kids who are bored with nothing to do. It is, it is, it, it's not our responsibility. To, to find recreation, but we're offering it, and it's here. But uh, you look no further than just north of us, somebody's shot every day and killed every week, and they have movie theaters, and they have bowling alleys, and they have river walks, and they have other activities. So it's not that. Parents have got to take responsibility. You got to know where your children are. You have them, you've got to raise them. It's not the government's responsibility but we're here to help. We offer programs to mitigate some of these things. You've got to take advantage of it, and uh, we're, we're here to help you. If your child is unruly, you can't do anything with them, call us and we'll try to partner with you to do the best we can. But ultimately, it's your responsibility, and, and the laws are there to be enforced, and we're here to enforce them. Uh, we had a shooting in Gerard uh, six weeks or so ago, that could have very easily resulted in, in a much worse situation. Thank God it didn't. In Sardis, these are small towns where every family is affected when it happens. And this town of 6,000 people, when something like this happens, it, it affects uh, families across the board. So we're here to stand shoulder to shoulder with the mayor and the chief of police to help reduce this gun violence, and, and uh, we're gonna do just that. Thank you so much, Chief Burley and Chef Williams. And we just ask that you would keep the family of the young man in your prayers, that you know they will pull, he will pull through and be okay. And also, everybody has been affected by gun violence. Continue to keep them in your prayers, but keep our city in your prayers. Because we want to continue to pray that God will touch the city, touch the hearts of the people, so that we can adhere to what we need to do so we have a safer community. Thank you so much, and God bless you.